All right, so I'm just going to take a little look at what half planes are today. And to do that, I'm going to show you uh, if we were graphing something like um, y is less than 5. Okay, so I'm just going to pull up the grid here. And there it is. And what, we, uh, what do we mean when we say half planes? Well, this whole grid is a plane, and so we're basically going to cut it in half. So what I'm going to do is on the y-axis, I'm going to go up to 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm just going to mark that right here. You see how the line that's marking it is moving left and right? And that's basically saying I'm looking at a horizontal line through a y-value of 5. Now this line is not going to be a solid line because we only have less than. So this is going to be a dotted line. So I'm just going to fill this in. There's my horizontal line. And off it goes in the negative direction. Okay, so there's my, my line. And basically you could say, well, it cuts the plane in half. And that is true. Now I'm going to shade the part of this plane which makes this inequality true. And I'm looking at y values that are less than 5. And what that means is I want to show the ones that are underneath. So I would shade this whole region in here. And uh, if I had the luxury of time, I could do a real pretty job of that. But you get the idea. I'm not going to keep going crazy here. But everything underneath this line is going any point down here is going to make this inequality true. So that's what a half plane is. And I'm going to just draw a couple more here just to make sure we got the right idea. So the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to graph x greater than or equal to 3. And we're going to pull up the grid again. <clears throat> so this time on the x-axis I'm going to locate positive 3. So 1, 2, 3. And this time the line, it says here, is greater than or equal to. So I'm actually going to get a line tool here, make a better job of it than I can do freehand. And there's my line. Okay, so basically there's the line there heading up and down. It's a vertical line. And I've got to decide, do I want to shade on the left side of the line or on the right side? Well, I want x's that are greater than or equal to 3. And that means the ones on the right side. So here I am shading what are the points that make it true. And there it is. There's my half plane. So we're going to do one more here, and then that's about all we're going to do for half planes. How about x is less than negative 2? So let's pull up the grid. <coughs> And we want x to be less than negative 2. Well, on the x-axis, I'm going to locate negative 2. There it is. And this time, it is a dotted line. And that's because it's strictly less than, not less than or equal to. So we're just going to draw the line. And of course, this breaks everything up into a left side and a right side. And which side do I shade? Well, I want to shade the side where the x is are less than negative 2. Well, that would be on the left side. So there it is. There's my half plane. So that is pretty much it. So that's how half planes work. And with that, I'm going to stop talking about half planes.